Yo, this is your boy, the Omega Katana, back with another video, and it's not going to be a long one, it's going to be a decent, long, decent video, and today we're talking about what is Leica, because I've been on YouTube as of lately, commenting on people's videos, and they say about Leica, about like, op Raspberry Pi operating systems and the like, so, for those who are not in the know, Raspberry Pi is a pretty good emulation system, but it has a lot of like, you have to do research when you get when to what type to get, what type of op gaming operating system and the like. But let me tell you, I'm enjoying this one called Leica, which is basically powered by RetroArch. Basically, for short, it is RetroArch standalone. And if you know how to go, go if you if you're a RetroArch user, it's you could fit right home with it. And trust me, for starters, it does not does N64 well. But it does everything else pretty decently, so really well. So, so here's my gaming library here as of right now. So I'm just going to tr to say that it's a pretty good emulation system right here. And let's just start off with a game called hmm, Sonic Advance. Pretty good, decent one, which a great game by by. By Sega and Dimps, which for some odd reason they're not credited for the first game, but they were created by a studio by the name of Dimps, by the which are famous for the SNK for X SNK deaths after SNK went bankrupt in 2000. Normally I would have just did the I haven't played this game in years so excuse my bad my bad Sonic Advance skills. But So anyways it's, it's a pretty good emulator for GBA Super Nintendo Nintendo, of course, but for some reason it doesn't do N64 well. Nice some round of Tetris here. Yeah, so I know many purists will say like the the Sega the Sega arcade one's the best one, but but due to nostalgic reasons, I prefer the I prefer the Game Boy one, but that's just me though. So, it does Game Boy really well. It can even do some arcade games, so let's just pick King of Fighters for another example here.
this is just a test run, so it basically runs Neo Geo games pretty well. Perfect. Does Neo Geo game so? How so? How you add games? You might you might ask. So basically, here's the input content selection, and I recommend using manual scan if you have your own library of ROMs. So dump all the ROMs there for you, but without relying on a without lying on a start type of ROM set. So so for the con, if you have like the certain amount of games here, so you have to cut like ROM hacks or. Or Ni Sega Naomi or Tommy Wave ROMs, you just put them in the custom folder. And for like and and for and for any console, for, for example, you have the Atari. You just click the Atari here, and then you just click this library here. If you have like these, you, you select your your contents, and then if you have multiple files like in a Ni Sega Naomi ROMs, just scan, turn this off. If not, keep it on, and you hit the scan button here. So. You hit the scan button here to start to scan your ROMs, and and I'm not telling we can get ROMs. You can just Google that, my friend. Just showing you how you can use what Leica is. So you can also change the. You can also use the uh, uh, configure the controls and whatnot. Also the user interface here. You can change the menu, the appearance. Like that, you can add a background image or a dynamic background. I just like the default one as well because it does its job. So that's all to say for now. For those who don't know what like us, this is like a short video that that basically you can play like from like Atari to like Sega Sega Dreamcast and Naomi. It does like decently does like Sega Saturn, but only the 2D stuff. Don't rely on the 3D stuff. So if you have a question or anything else, and please don't ask for ROMs. Okay, you can Google that yourself. So. Anyways, that's all to say for now. Sayonara.